Feathering One of the requirements of a rotor system is how to alter the amount of thrust it produces. This is the function on the feathering system. Feathering is the term used to describe the process of changing the blade pitch angle. Feathering can be achieved either by using a feathering hinge or by designing a semi-rigid blade hub attachment which can flex enough to provide a suitable range of pitch angles. The two systems allow the same thing. A controllable change in pitch angle. The main problem is how to transmit control inputs from the non-rotating control rods to the rotating head. This is done using a pair of swash plates. A non-rotating swash plate, sometimes called a fixed star, is attached to the gearbox housing using a scissor link. The control rods leading from the cyclic and collective controls are attached to the plate. Depending on their movement, they can force the non-rotating swash plate to tilt and or move up and down. On simple helicopters, the control rods are directly attached to the swash plate. On more sophisticated designs, the rods are operated hydraulically. The non-rotating swash plate, sometimes called a rotating star, is mounted face to face with the non-rotating swash plate. A bearing between the two reduces the friction. As the name implies, the rotating swash plate rotates with the rotor head. Although held against the non-rotating swash plate, the rotating swash plate is free to move, so its vertical position and angle of tilt exactly match the vertical position and angle of tilt of the non-rotating swash plate. Changes in tilt angle apply different amounts of pitch change to each blade. Changes in vertical position apply an equal amount of pitch change to all blades. Tilt and vertical position are translated into pitch changes by the pitch operating arms, operating through pitch control horns. The pitch control horns attached at the root of the blades provide the leverage required to change blade pitch. Remember, they have to work against the blade's rotational velocity and the centrifugal twisting moment, which tends to throw the blade off pitch. The longer the lever, the easier it is to control pitch. But everything in helicopter design has to be a compromise. And these pitch horns are usually fairly short.